connected so um, 
I'm going to go and reverse the tail servo and set the tail limit. So we're going to set up menu. We click next, 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 next to tail setup. So right here is where I reverse the tail servo. And this is where I set my tail limits. So let me check the tail and see what's going on. So it looks like um, 75 and 65 are um, the limits that I need to use with this particular servo. It doesn't um, bottom out on either end of the shaft this way. Now, I also, um, I just checked my gyro um, direction needs to be reversed as well. So I'm going to go back and go back to the, uh, you know, I go to the gyro direction. So I know I need to reverse the tail. Let me check the cycle. These need to be reversed as well. Now, everything looks good. So while I'm here, I'm going to go in and do the uh, pirouette optimization. So I click this. One final thing I want to go in and set up on the tail is the uh, deceleration value. So that's under advanced menu. And what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to start out with this yaw degain of um, 10 and then increase it um, if I need to. But I find that 10 seems to cut down a lot on um, the wag and and then also dropping the deceleration down to about 10 just to start with um, cuts down on the tail bounce so changing this to 10 10 10 changing my RC dead band to 10 um, changing 10 there too now oh, come on. Okay. And then sometimes I adjust the P gain if, um, if I want a little bit more response. So anyway, that's that. Okay. So far everything is programmed. It's retained all the settings. And I have not had to redo anything. Okay, so now I've set the jet limits on my gyro and I have reversed the direction. And so they just 
barely reached the end of the travel. And so you don't hear the servo acting like it's trying to keep pushing. 